good to see you, darling. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. I thamas that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. Soul. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The yeah, love. Hey, bear our master, Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> it can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four year back. Trigger. Hey, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! on your phone. God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Road, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of Lunden. Take me to your governor, though. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Avo of the Raven Clan. 
We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Evil. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Burra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, it turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde put down in London for a season. Two or three years. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. It's a serious attack. Were they after you as well? Now that's a fine question, isn't it? You must be Erke. London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me Second Reef? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder. On the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to us. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this bird. Oh dear. What is it? Doing notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses. Intrigue's desk. Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering And I didn't A know. barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive.
I do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder here. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manikas. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baltersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic Temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Defend Trigger! Ah, oh, well, now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my reef's face for it. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over! Town Hall will follow you. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet at the top of London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. The Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for it. The Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance.
Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west, worth a wizard. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing. Gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I have got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. Knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Eivor, you bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane, who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. 
We found a number of dead down by the keys lately. But not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again, in several places. Cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. You kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. Welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. An annoyed yet about the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you through. We heard that they for his job is to stubs of silver a month. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers into it. Husa's earned a fortune skipping. Be gone! You reek of someplace else! I have a bow and a buddy ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? It was Egbert of East Anglia. Yeah, right. Be gone before I kick your teeth in. Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. But which? Ignore your purses, lads.
There we go. Hmm. This coin is engraved with an image of the London Coliseum. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyed. All right, take your mark. Hook set. Arrows not. Fire. <laughs> Deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. <laughs> well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Husa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. <laughs> Arrow is making his speech at the Imperial Arch. On your way now. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders! stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Oh! Trigger, my friends, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders. <laughs> Oh, 
like my bluster. Arrows knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set. You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First ways fire! No! I gave these men order! I gave them purpose! I showed them their common enemy! Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage! Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition, greed, anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. But glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erke should be down at the keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. This the leech's work. Yeah. New corpses every day.
How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Stowe has seen the same. It is not only the ducks. How is that Sparrowheart? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgos, and that is enough. Avgos? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Keda. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and fear the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna, lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith, a missing child. It's a leap with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these dogs. Do I look like one who could? Let's see you, old friend. Show me what lies ahead. So Tom, where did I? Just follow him, see where this leads. Can't this clod walk any faster?
this the place? Or... No, just meandering. Ah! <laughs> 
You got the purse I'm old. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm a friend, Doya. Your money is with your lad. What have you to do with him? I'm keeping him safe. Had a fear he was being followed. Tch, I knew he was soft. Not like my other girl. She was hard as hog's breath, that one. What happened to her? Fell ill a few days back. So I sent her to good Sister Friedeswith. Healer in town. Sister Friedeswith? Got broken bones? A boil on your bum? Or too much birth blood? She'll mend you quick. She would need a broad set of tools for such work. She would, and she has it. Comes to me for all her wants, and I craft for her what she needs. Not anymore, you don't. Done for now! Alarm! We are being raided! where the leech dissects her prey. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charm, house. I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The ancient ones, the arbiters, 
They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger, faster, smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? It is done. Ah! The leech is bled out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Frida Swift. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> Gods! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida Swift. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? Too many died for this book. It is not worth its weight in blood. You're right. It would be like plucking straw from shit. Too much bad with the good. Odin and Freya weigh the worth of our lives, not some cunt in a wimple. Aye, get rid of it then, and tell no one of this. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul's searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca. Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Abgos and Frieswit have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? It is time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rep to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of Odin's meat. 
What is on your mind, Stowe? We know the Compass is a sailor. A captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up! You find a way out! I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the springs that Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Ardus men will be easy to rout. I will go my own way. Less danger to you both. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our souls and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Godspeed, my friends! Do you see? This way! The docks are burning! 
burning. Take this path. You'll avoid most attention. I'll give you cover when I can. This is the compass, large enough to fall an ocean. In this shit hole city. Look here, Stow and Erke's lapdog. You've stolen. I'll go up, damn you! Look here, Stow and Erke's lapdog. You've stolen me from Hankia! None of you lift a finger to aid your master! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave churning tides. We are that tide. we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. 
London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trinker's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. Alvis, I am the superior worksmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner square a circle. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. I should speak with Hytham. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. 